Good morning and welcome back to another vlog here on Costa Crazy. Yes, um, you probably saw the title. We're at uh, Grand Pier in Western Supermare and the weather is not good at all. You can just see the clouds there. It's actually raining, so I've got the uh, the lens lowered a little bit so there's no water, I'll try and get on it. But yeah, we're in Western Supermare, the second time we've been here this year already. First time we came, we actually did Funland theme park, which is just sort of over there in the distance. Well, it, it's over there. <laughs> it's over there in the distance. And we didn't actually do the pier because it was closed due to social distancing and all that sort of rubbish. Um, but yeah, we've parked across the road behind us. And um, yeah, we actually stayed in the area last night. Uh, Red Hill Boutique Hotel, it was called. Didn't do a room tour or anything like that because didn't really see the point um, but it was very nice it was all right there was a swimming pool and stuff there we didn't go in it and then last night we went for a, a meal we found a, I think it was a hungry horse we found a little hungry horse but yeah I hope you enjoyed the POV of the tower coaster which went online last night so you got two videos yesterday um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed that one I had the little fair that went on in the morning on the tower coaster I just, I just want to say because I knew I, I knew I was gonna get it. All the comments going, oh, it looks slow. Oh, it doesn't look very exciting. This, that, and the other. It's a powered bobsleigh coaster. At the end of the day, it's not meant to be fast. It's not. It doesn't go upside down. There's no airtime hills or anything like that. It's just a fun experience. You know the zip, um, zip world location it's got the zip line <clears throat> and they just wanted to add something a bit extra the other location up north or the north of wales that's got the um alpine coaster so they wanted something a bit different something that no one else has got it's the second one to open in the world and i thought it was all right for yeah it is a little bit expensive for what you get but for the experience of going on it i think it's great but yeah just bear that in mind it's not the most exhilarating coaster in the world it's not meant to be it's just a really nice open feeling just going around the mountain sort of thing it's it's nice but yeah here we are at the end of grand pier here in western supermare so yeah face masks have got to go on it is a pound entry at the gate just at the uh at the entrance there so you've got to put a pound and a gate in the turnstile to get in um i don't think you have to book wristbands and things for the rides in here although we will get some tokens and things go on the slot machines and that sort of thing as well face masks have to be worn we've done the track and trace it looks like it might be busy because this is the only indoor sort of area there is around here you get a good view back to the uh, promenade now you got the the ferris wheel just there and funland tropicana just down there i think there used to be some sort of aquarium there as well but yeah, face masks on, and in we go. So I'll put my face mask on now, uh, and we'll get in there. We've got this big chair just here as well for the photo opportunities. <laughs> right, so here we go. Face mask is on. Yeah, I have noticed when I'm filming myself with the uh, yeah <laughs> the lighting there is not good. With the face mask on, it is quite muffled, so I need to sort of direct what I'm saying to the camera. When I turn it around, you'll notice it goes really quiet. Oh, that's right, yeah. She's got a spend for the slot machines. Oh yeah, here we go. One of the best, in fact, it probably is the best pier in the UK for attractions. You just got up here, you just see it here, the Robo Arm. That's not operational. I did say on the, see on the website that it was down for maintenance. They've had a lot of problems with this last time i came it, it it was down but there's a weight restriction on it as well i think the maximum weight on it is 15 stone so i'm about 17 and a half after i've lost a couple of a couple of stones and thank you for everyone who has uh, said that i look well but yeah i've lost a couple of stone if you don't know in the past sort of few months uh so i can't i couldn't go on that anyway if it, if it was open because of the weight limit uh, I think I'm sure I'm sure it's about 15 stone we'll go up and have a look anyway uh, but I'll get some tokens it's really good in here we've got the uh, the house of horror 
uh, ghost train as well just over here I'll show you a thing as well a bit of a top tip you're not really supposed to be filming like arcades and stuff like that I think it I think that's to do with like the uh, gambling laws well I think these are all right the pushes and things but yeah house of horror ghost train look at the facade on this I have already filmed a vlog from this uh, pier before but this is one of the best ghost trains in the country um, so you've got it all works on a turnstile you've got to get your tokens it's three pound for separate if you want to pay for tokens um, and then you can get wristbands as well I might actually go over and see how much a wristband is because there's loads of attractions in here I'll just have to squeeze past these people but you've got these VR oh, I think these are new as well I think this is new, I'm not sure if it's on, but yeah, VR experience. I've done, done quite a few of these. You've got a roller coaster. Oh yeah, Twisted Colossus. Oh, 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 where's that? Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, there, look, look, Twisted Colossus. Hey, relevant to the channel. <laughs> There's always something relevant to the channel. Always. <laughs> they got like the, uh, oh, Merchant here. Like what they do. There seems to be, I bet you what it is. There's a company out there it specializes in doing stuff so like the um the expos and stuff they'll be they'll have like a booth and they go oh yeah you can get all your merchandise all printed off so we've got this at home um we've got like a picture frame from blackpool pleasure beach that we had but we've got they can get the mugs and the fridge magnets and key rings and your prices and stuff for here as well so yeah it's a massive arcade all the way down to the back of there and up the top you just see there that's a go-kart track and you have noticed i have taken my glasses off as well they just steam up when i've got wearing wear face masks because it's quite warm in here as well this is really good free fall drop tower this is also i think it's one of them moser ones but it goes all the way up there so yeah this is uh what's the price of this this one's three pound as well basically what you do is I think you can get a fun card or you can pay for it as well if you've got change you can get change and just pay £3 to go or you can get a fun card and you tap it on there so I have to go and see oh the toilets are behind me as well I need, I need a toilet well yeah we've got the pub there Captain Jack's bar might maybe go and have some lunch in there Go-kart track's really good, it's electric powered. Last time I came, I waited about half an hour to get on there. So we'll go up there and have a look. All your latest machines in here. I just spotted something really cool over here. So a lot of fans of the channel knows I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan. They've got baby Yodas in here. <laughs> but they're not quite baby. <laughs> But yeah, Grogu, if anyone's a big Star Wars fan, they're called Grogu, but yeah, Baby Yoda's in here. I think my next, my next tattoo might be a Baby Yoda. Yeah, loads of machines, you got a Dodgems just over here as well. Someone's left the tickets there. Load of tickets. Wow, loads of machines. There's so many machines in here. This place is basically like, um, oh, there's some more Grogu's in here, look. It's picking it up that well here. Yeah, it's basically like Coral Island Arcade in Blackpool in there. Yeah, Dodgems as well. So these are powered by electric current on the floor, so you can see there's no over the head wires. So yeah, it's all powered on the floor. So yeah, if you notice as well, there's no flashing lights in here. You know where I go to like fun fairs and things, and some of the lights are normally flashing. I mean, they are actually, they are actually flashing. What it is is to do with the uh, frequency and the power. So yeah, <laughs> uh, what's down here? Some more machines. You got all your air hockey tables there. Oh, there's the bottom of a slide. There's a massive slide. There's a camera for the top, there's the entrance for it, so you've got a big slide in here as well. So yeah, I think there's a summit down here as well. Oh, there's a restaurant. 
Tiff Tiffany's restaurant. But yeah, the weather's awful today, really bad. And, and yesterday as well, when we was on the tower coaster, it was just, it was awful. And as soon as we left, it stopped raining. And we ended up going to that fair, Edward Danter's fair, um, after that as well. So I hope you enjoyed that vlog, which is the one after this one. So yeah, I'll probably go and get a wristband or something. I'll see you in a minute. Right, so over here you've got the uh, the House of Mirrors uh, and Crazy Circus. I think the House of Mirrors is at the top. There's also a laser maze up there I could just see. Uh, House of Mirrors, Circus, uh, the, the fun house is £3, the entrance is there, and then you come out of this one here. Uh, so what I'll do is, there's an escalator here, and then there's the other one over here, we'll go up and have a look. There's loads of little kids rides here, there's another little thing here. Two pound a ride for that. There's another ride up there, flat ride, sweet like a swinging ride. Yeah, let's go and have a look up here. If you like your arcades and your rides and things like that, this is the place to come. Like I said, one of the best piers in the UK. And what I didn't know last time when I came, yeah, this 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 actual pier. Um, this actual pier burnt down and so this is quite new, they, they, they rebuilt it all but there's loads of stuff up here, there's simulators and yeah look at this here, F1, F1 simulator £5 to go for your simulator look at that, that looks awesome for the uh, hydraulic pistons as well you see the go-kart track going around, that's at the top of here there's your old over 18's arcade and there the slot machines there's your go-karts I wouldn't mind doing that, I've got my uh, hand strap in me, in me uh, chest harness in my bag I might go in there your shop for all your um, stuff for your tickets uh, it's absolutely massive in here, really really big Hopefully we should be out of the uh, the restrictions soon. We won't have to wear these stupid face masks. Not like everyone's sticking to the rules anyway, but you know, they'll stick to the rules. Yeah. But yeah, the robo arms over here, some more toilets just there, if we need those. Yeah, five pound for your robo arm. I'll show you the restriction board. So yeah, you can insert, tap whatever robo arm calls for maintenance. So it did say on the website, like, always check the websites but apparently this is what this is what a lot of people reckon Fantasy Island might be getting one of these one of their brand new rides could be uh, could be one of these so we'll be going to Fantasy Island again soon uh, where's the... oh over 16 stone uh, you are over 16 stone, what? oh you cannot ride yeah over 6, so I couldn't get on it, I thought it was 15 stone so yeah, 16, so I'm just I'm just over the weight limit for that. Not like I'd want to go on it anyway. <laughs> I think it would be one of those ones where it'd be uh, good for comedy value for the vlog, rather than me enjoying something like that. Because it, if you don't know what it is, it basically it's like flips and it goes upside down and it's like really fast movement. Basically what the Harry Potter ride is, is sort of one of those, but it's on a track and it moves and then it'll turn around and stuff like that here's your other ride i don't think uh, uh there's nobody wants to go on this one it's pretty quiet in here though at the moment it's still quite early but yeah sidewinder it's a swinging ride goes side to side like that can't see who's made this one it says it on the side i can't make it out i'm not sure if it's spf visa or anything like that we are three pounds for this one I can't see the make on the head, it's on the headrest, so I can't I can't see it, I've got my glasses on. Just having a look. <laughs> uh, you also got the crystal maze here, which is like a mirror maze. Just over here. Oh that's only a pound to go in there. Don't mind a good mirror maze. I don't know how far back it goes, you can't see the end of it. Because it's obviously all mirrors, but yeah it goes quite far back there I think. So that's only a pound for that. The mirror maze. So like I said, there's there's quite a lot of stuff in here. 
You can go outside on the on the deck in there. More claw machines, more change machines. You've got a lift that goes up and down just to the side here. It's a little kiddie uh, track ride thing, one of the little uh, what do they call that little motors, motor cars they sit on. But yeah, look at it up here, it's brilliant in here. Yeah, really cool. And there's the entrance to your laser maze, house of mirrors, just here as well. Right, so what I've done is I've actually changed the tenor back there in the change machine. And while I'm here, because you've got to go like a one-way system, there's like the escalator up and the other one down on this side. So since I'm walking past it to go to the ghost train, I might as well do the crystal maze, the, uh, the, the hall of mirrors type thing. But yeah, just ask the lad, young lad here that operates this ride. It is a, it's a Moser ride. There's a different setting for it to go a bit higher as well. But actually, some of these actually go upside down. But obviously, with the with the height restraint, uh, the height restrictions, it, it can't do that. But yeah, some of them can go all the way around. I think um, some of the, some of the Gulliver's parks have got something like that. But uh, yeah, so I got excuse me got some 20p's so I put a tender in it gave me a load of 20p's and 10's and stuff so let's see if it works yeah one two three up oh. I don't know if it lets you in or not there you go green arrow there we go oh. right let's see how well we're doing here so it says to walk like that where you're at well I can see there's a mirror there press this switch Oh, it's like a cheat, it tells you where to go. <laughs> There's an arrow pointing that way. But I bet it isn't. I bet it isn't. I'm not got I'm not got a cheat. That's a dead end. <laughs> that's a that's a dead ant. Sometimes you can see the joins on the floor. I think there's quite an open space just here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a dead ant. Oh, we only goes to it back here because I thought it was a bit bigger than this. Oh, I'm a dead ant. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. Hang on, hang on. I think I've got it. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. I don't know where I'm going now. You see the floor thing, this is a dead end as well. Yeah, that's a dead end as well, round here. I think I've done it. I think I've cracked it. Let it like a bad boy. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's, if I press that, that's got to say that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the ends here. That's well easy. There you go, that was a pound. Can you hear it? Oh, uh, oh right, yeah. Not that way. Down there. Oh, here we are. <laughs> yeah, so it was a pound for your mirror, mate. That wasn't too bad, actually. Bargain. Alright, next ride. So the uh, crystal maze is alright, just here you got the uh, the laser maze which I showed you a minute ago. Quite a few people there, that's £2 to go. It's basically a room that you walk in and then you've got to duck underneath and step over like laser beams and not trigger them off. You can watch it all there and there's like a viewing window just so I won't go over there in the moment because uh, there's a group of people over there. I'll come back up and have a look in a minute. Might have a go, might be worth doing. So yeah, so you've got the... Uh, the House of Mirrors, uh, this is a part of the fun house, so like I say, it starts down here and they obviously make your way up, but it's a three tier fun house. It's massive, it looks really cool. And then obviously your go kart track sucks up there as well. Not too busy in here actually, it's, um, it's not too bad at all. Uh, but you don't have to book tickets or anything like that, you can just turn up, uh, pay your pound to get in. 
through the turnstiles actually onto the pier itself and then once you're in here use some uh, change some money and then um, we'll get a wristband i will actually go over and see how much wristbands are because i didn't do that i just i just put a tenner in the machine to get some pound coins out because you can use pound coins so i spent a pound already it's gonna be three for the ghost train which is just here so that's four pound and i bet you i bet your wristbands are about 15 quid let's just go and have a look i guarantee it no big kid wristband seven 17 pound 50 actually just on the side there uh, a little wristband 19 pound 50 so that's not too bad you can get 12 rides for that 12 rides saving 19 pound 50 so that's not too bad but i'll only go on a few anyway like i said i can't do the robo arm because it's closed and i'm over overweight not not in that sense but i'm too heavy for it i don't really fancy the little flat ride thingy i'll do this in the drop tower and that that might be it really so yeah next up house of horrors ghost ride Right, so here we go. Got me a uh, three pound out of my pocket. Just there. Uh, like I say, you can scan on the card, scan the card. Uh, tap your fun card on there. We'll put your three pound in here. There's a, there's a couple of carriages waiting already. Wait for it to go green and two and three you go. I think you just get on it. Yeah. Oh, it's really dark in here though. I have to get a light out <laughs> but yeah you basically stand in a cage yeah I can't, see, can't see a lot I'll have to get a light for you yeah see so you're in like a like a cage <laughs> so if you that you won't be able to see anything The mirror just there, you see the reflection of my light. Oh, it's really good though. Let's see if you see that. The yeah, staircase seems brilliant. Oh, it's, oh the figure up there. <laughs> Go through like this room, but look how close it gets here. Eh? Really cool. You can film on the right here, you don't have to use a chest on it or anything. That's really good effect. I like that. Come on to this room here. Again. Books on the wall. Oh, ghostly figures. Camera and a blast of air, superb. Oh, it's running tap. The theme in the name is amazing. Oh, <laughs> so you wouldn't see that without the light on, I'm not over there. I think there's some lighting out. Can you see the coffee? Not really. Bats up on the top, bats hanging down here. It's so tight though. Amazing. I can't see a lot in this room. <laughs> I think some of the lighting's out in it. Yeah, there's still got a light on that. It's not working. His head's falling off. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah, brilliant ghost train that. Really good. Yeah, the uh, House of Horrors ghost train. It's really good, really clever how it works. Like I say, it's really tight and compact inside. It just goes underneath this section here. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I mean, it didn't deter 
from the enjoyment of it. But yeah, some of the effects in there uh, obviously didn't seem to work because when I put the light from my camera away or from my phone away, you couldn't see anything where you should be able to have seen some stuff. All right, next up, going on free fall, which is the uh, really good Moser drop tower just here. Love a good Moser ride. Is there anything there? Not permitted, free fall. Yeah, I think I'm just about 75 kilograms or 165 pounds. I think I'm just underneath that, so I'm all right with the weight on there. There's some of your restrictions as well, so yeah, like no flip flops, no bags, no food. That's about it really, it's the same about cameras. Again, three pound a ride, so, so far I've spent uh, seven pounds, so I haven't spent me, uh, me whole amount yet. I haven't spent a tenner and this might be the last thing I'll go on, really. So yeah, three pound. I might, I might go and have a go to the go-kart. Oh, it's not taking any of that. Oh, it has. <laughs> there you are. Green light. There we go. I think I might be going on my own. Just sanitising down the ride there. Right, here we go. Right, top tip for you, if you are on the bigger side, don't sit in the middle seat. Because <laughs> it wouldn't send it. Oh, it wouldn't go. Oh. <laughs> Woo. It's really high up there. Yeah, this is a Moser as well. So they must have got a deal with the uh, swinging ride over there as well, Sidewinder. Woo! <laughs> Good? <laughs> Woo! I don't think you get a long time on it though. <laughs> Woo! Oh! <laughs> Lovely! Yeah, basically there's a sensor behind the seat, so I sat in the middle seat there, the sensor wouldn't go off, so I just sat on the end and yeah, so I've topped it if you're sort of like the same size as me, sit on the end. <laughs> Woo! And there's the camera, there's the camera for the ride just over there, the flash. Woo! There you go. Oh, I feel a bit sick, <laughs> I feel a bit sick after that. <laughs> Back down to the ground. It's quite high up as well, actually. Really good that. There you go. Can't beat a good old Mauser drop tower. Really enjoyed that one. Yeah, like I said on the ride, I don't know if you heard me or not. You probably did. <laughs> with, my, with my loud mouth. But yeah, if you're on the sort of the bigger side, sit on the end, don't sit in the middle. Um, he tried it a couple of times. There's basically a sensor on the uh, on the on the top of the of the seat. And um, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't go down. <laughs> it wouldn't go down. But yeah, you got uh, some more machines over here as well. Really loud. Yeah. Some really good machines. You got this covered area here as well, like a conservatory. It's really warm in there though. Well, anyway, the weather's not too bad now. But yeah, you got this out outdoor area here as well. We can walk to the end of the pier. I'll go up and see how much the um, see how much the go karts are. Well, yeah, you got this outdoor section here. Oh, just take my mask off for a minute. Oh, I can't breathe with these things on. Oh, it's really warm today. It's quite humid, especially with the uh, with the weather. You see, it's raining out there to see. But yeah, Breen Down is over there. Headland between Weston and Burnham is called Breen Down and there's a National Trust site that stretches 1.5 miles out to sea. And there you go, so that's Breen, Breen Down just over there. I think there's some more markers like this around the pier as well. Uh, it's telling you what to do, but yeah, you've also got Breen Leisure Park or Breen Theme Park, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> that's a bit further down the coast. I said Funland, uh, the Tropicana or Funland Theme Park uh, is just over there as well. We've done that. The vlog is on the channel, so if you want to see that, uh, go and head over to the uh, the vlog for that. 
Uh, we haven't done the ferris wheel before because i think that's around eight pound to go is that one uh, quite pricey <laughs> for a ferris wheel um well, i'm sure we'll give it a go at some point but yeah i can't see anything in either move glasses and stuff like that put the face mask back on i'll go and have a look at see how much the uh, the go-kart track is right so i'm back inside and i've just come back up the escalator just on this side here uh, I'll go around and see how much the, um, the bow parts are. I'm guessing it's probably about five pound to go. The go karts, these are simulators as well. These look amazing. Probably a weight restriction on there as well. Obviously, just read all your, your sign boards and stuff. Uh, ride safety. Um, no, it doesn't really say. It doesn't really say. This is a height restriction. Yeah, it doesn't say about your weight. I mean, with all the massive pistons, I don't think that matters. There's also a museum just here as well, I haven't done before. Museum of Memories by Robert Opie. Uh, that's £3 to enter there. I don't think it's much in there, really, but I haven't done it. Some Star Wars stuff here. And the ZX Spectrum, I had one of those when I was seven years old. I had one of those, my dad came home with one. I used to do uh, computer programming on it when I was pretty young actually. Yeah, five pound for your, uh, for your, uh, for your go-kart. So I might stick the chest harness on and give it a go. Because they're really fun these, they're uh, little electric powered ones. Basically like you dodge them downstairs. So it's really good to, uh, to have something like this, especially if it's an, an indoor attraction. Uh, we don't have to worry about petrol fumes or anything like that. I don't think you need to be kitted up with helmets and things like that, you just basically get in and, and they send it. It's quite good actually, it's quite a good layout, it sort of goes up here and around the top of there and then sort of round here, around there and then down here as well. So I might get a, I might get a five pound out, I'll give the, uh, give the go-karts a go. Right, all strapped in, seatbelt on, had a little brief as well, because all safety as well. Turn it on because it's an electric car. I think I've turned on, am I? There we go. Turn! <laughs> right, here we go. They start off really slow at first. Yeah, they're quite small go kart C's. So if you're on the tall side, you probably wouldn't fit in these. It's like Mario Kart, isn't it? <laughs> Just throw a banana on the track. Or a shell. Yeah, so last time I came on here, I didn't have my chest harness with me, so one of the um, so one of the lads had to do it for me. There we go. That's better. Woo! Pretty quick, and they slide well as well. Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Woo! 
These are awesome. Yeah, five pound to go for your go kart. Oh yeah. Oh, right round here. These are well good. Woo! Woo! Now these are really cool go-kart seas. Obviously I'd much prefer like a petrol one. learn how to drift to do these little tap on the brake Woo. yeah <laughs> Woo, I love it catching two people up oh good one you want to make it nice and tight on the corners you don't want to drift too much because then you lose control and you slow down too much so you've got to break into the corner drift around it like that Woo! Clip it on the edge Whoa. Oh no! Woo! Get past him there Drift around that corner Woo! Yeah! Right on. That one there. Yeah, I love go karting. I used to go to one in Heesham, near where I used to live in Morecambe. It was amazing, proper, proper good go kart track there. It was all indoors, petrol power, and they could go up to like 50 mile an hour. They were well quick. This guy up, number 19. you get but it's quite a few I waited quite a while or waited, waited quite a while for this one oh I'm on the inside oh yeah I got him oh I got my foot caught on the brake My foot caught on the brake then, I couldn't, couldn't get my foot off. They have overtaken everyone. Oh no, there's a couple of lads behind me catching up. Oh, there we go, we've slowed down now. Oh, that was a bad corner. This bit here is well sliding. Oh, she's crashed, that's another one. I've gone past three I've overtaken. I just need this guy in front now. Oh, he's off! Oh, yeah! Come on, do him! Chuck the red shell out! Banana peel, go on! My favourite character in Mario Kart was always Toad. Or Super uh, Cooper Trooper. Oh! Yeah, control, control. Get him, get him going, come on. We should have another lap on this. Oh, that's it, yeah, slow down now. I'd say that was awesome, back into the pit lane now I think. So I've got second place. 
I'll uh, set off for set over six. Six, uh, so yeah, see if he's first. I think he set off first as well though. Can't see anyone else in front. Happy days! <laughs> Not bad at all. So yeah, get yourselves out to um, Western Supermare. Come to the Grand Pier. And uh, come and get these uh, go-karts to go. They're, uh, they're really good. It's, it's all controlled now. It all slows it down. I've got my foot welded to the floor. Put the corner. Uh, there we go, just slow down around this bit here. Slow down. Am I first? Second? Yeah, I'm second, because that pink one was behind me. There you go. Right, there you go, the, uh, the go-karts. Yeah, electric go-karts. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed that POV there, the footage. That was brilliant. Yeah, if you're coming here, make sure if you want to film on it, use your chest stainers because obviously you can't hold a camera and turn the steering wheel at the same time unless you've got three arms. Uh, yeah, so you can film on rides here. There's no problem with that at all. Just, I say, if you want to film on that, make sure you've got a chest stainers to, to get some better footage. Otherwise, you're not, bit, you're not going to be able to film on that. Everything else is all right. Um, but yeah, I get a lot of people asking about filming on rides in certain places. Most places you're alright with, obviously the bigger parks. And I just love it when you get comments still to this day saying, Oh, it's such a shame you can't film on rides at Alton Towers. And yeah, it was a Merlin Park, they don't allow filming on anything there. So just bear that in mind. If we go to a, a Merlin Park, you know, can't film on the rides there. Uh, some of the other places, fun fairs, that's why I like going to a lot of fun fairs. Because the on-ride footage is... I don't know, I think a lot of people watch vlogs for on-ride footage. Especially if they don't go to the fairs or amusement parks themselves. But yeah, places like this, they're, they're not really bothered. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one today. I don't know if I showed you the outside section. Yeah, there's that swinging ride there. Oh. <laughs> Also we've got a cafeteria here selling Costa coffee. And then you've got the outdoor section just here as well. So yeah, that's it. So we're going to get some chips or something now. So yeah, really nice. Oh, you've enjoyed this one. It's not changing the, uh, the lighting. How dark it's going, you can't even see me. <laughs> Go on, change. There you go. That's better. <laughs> Right, I'm going now. Um, I'll get you a bit of footage as we walk out of the entrance. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Right, so there you go. That's the uh, the Grand Pier. Got to tell you again because it's raining. Just been in that fish and chip shop there for something to eat, and it was very nice. It was all right, indeed. I'm gonna walk down the middle so I don't get wet. <laughs> It is a one-way system, apparently. It's a one-way system, and there's no entry on that side. Which is quite odd, because there's now people walking right towards me. When it's a one-way system. <laughs> so you've got to walk on either side. But yeah, there's um, Grand Pier Golden Arrow here, which is like a, a little train. A little land train, I think it goes up and down the side here. But no, that's it really. Had a good, good couple of hours here. It is raining again, like I just said. You can see it's awful. The weather is so bad. It's um, it's terrible. We're actually got to go up and have a look at Breen. What Breen's like. If the weather's like this, then we won't be bothering to go in there because there's not really much undercover stuff. There's an arcade and things. We'll probably just end up taking a slow drive home or something like that. It's awful. I don't get this weather at all. It's just, it's just not nice at all. But no, if you liked what you've seen, get yourselves down here. What I spent was, um, uh, what did I spend? Uh, so five pound on the go karts, uh, eleven, and that's including the drop tower uh, and the ghost train. Twelve. I think I spent twelve pound in total on rides, I'm sure it was £12. Um, yeah, I think it was, yeah, £12, but the wristbound was £17.50, so 
yeah, so you can go in there and do what you want really. You can either pay per ride or get the wristband. If the uh, robo arm's working and obviously you're underweight and you can go on it, and then you don't mind the swinging ride as well, then maybe it's worth, because they're like another three or four pound each as well for those. I think the robo arm's a fiver, and then the other one was another three pounds. So yeah, it'd probably work out all right just to get your wristband, but there you go. <laughs> Another vlog from Western Seafood. Well, like I said, they've got Fudland down there. If it was nicer weather, then we probably would have gone there as well. But it wasn't that long ago where we went, and it's not bad. It was, a, it was quite a popular vlog, but it's awful now. It's absolutely terrible. It's absolutely rubbish, you know. It's awful. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I can't wait to get abroad again. I really can't. But yeah, I love, it. I love a good classic pier. The weather just looks terrible out there in the distance, but that's where Breen is. Well, yeah, there you go. I'll finish the vlog now, and then I'll probably pan up and show you the entrance to the pier. In fact, I might even stick that at the beginning of the vlog. <laughs> so what I'm gonna film next will be the beginning of the vlog, but there you go. Remember, it's a pound entry to get through the turnstiles, which I'll try and show you now, but it's absolutely chucking it down. It's really bad. Uh, uh, it's horrible, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just I'll just show you this quickly. I'm getting spots on the camera already. Yeah, see, here you go. This is your entrance here. So you pay a pound, put a pound coin in there. If you haven't got a pound coin, you get changed from the arcade just over here. Oh, we're going. <laughs> it's horrible weather. <laughs> see you later. You got gift shops and stuff down here. You got your rock, all your old stuff there as well. Like I said this pier was, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't know when it was built. That, yeah, that's a picture of it, but that's it's not. It wasn't built in 1955, but yeah, it uh, they burnt down and then they rebuilt it all. But yeah, thanks again. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Uh, don't forget to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video. Uh, don't forget to follow the Facebook page, Coaster Crazy, and the Instagram account for some pictures and things like that as well. And I can't see anything because my glasses are in my pocket. But this is it, this is where we've been. The Grand Pier, just there. I love doing this pointy thing. Everyone, everyone's copying me these days. Everyone's doing the same things. Everyone's doing pointing and saying bye for now and send it and yeah. Get your own taglines, that's what I say. But there you go, there you go, Grand Pier. I'll see you later. Bye for now.